Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Civilization VI in our Alexander series, where we have started royally kicking Poland's ass and enjoying it a great deal. Like, you have no idea. <laughs> so I am in the process of building a siege tower that will help me continue to kick Poland's ass. Um, in the meantime, however, I'm going to get this unit on the road to where I can move a little bit more easily towards Radom. Uh, there are some encampments um, around Radom that make it a little challenging to take, but I want to take uh, Radom this episode, and I want to also try and take Krakow, um, and we'll see how that goes. All right, we have our worker that's finally arrived here. Okay, I'm going to start getting these units in place. This catapult is going to be level 3 soon. We have a level 3 archer as well that is able to fire on whatever Radom has in the area, but they can't fire on me. So guess what? I'm actually going to put my... Next turn, I'm going to swap their places. We're going to heal the catapult for now. We're going to heal this hypospist for now. And we're going to have you fortify. And the great general is guarding all of you, but my level 4 archer is going to sit on this hill and plink at Radom. And shouldn't be... I shouldn't have any problem whatsoever. All right, Bedgusht now needs... You need a lot, actually. I could get a Basilica of Pythes, uh, Pythes right away. And that would give production and housing. So let's go ahead and do that. Also gives me my science boost for anything that I build um, uh, that's military related. And then... Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do this. Let's go ahead and get a monument as well. And then go for the water mill in Bed Ghost. We have an envoy to send. Let's go ahead and work towards being suzerain of non Madal so that they can't cause any more shenanigans. Now I can fire on these guys, and I'm going to. I wonder if... Interesting. Let me put you right there. There's also a wonder, a natural wonder here. Mount Kilimanjaro next to Radom, so we'll get some extra benefits for taking that city. Yep, extra production here. Our harbor in Methon is now much closer to being finished, and that will also give us a gold bonus, which is nice. We're six turns away from having the Colosseum. Which is going to be cool to have as Alexander. It makes me happy. Feels like we're building a Roman Empire or something, even though it's totally Macedonian. 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 However you want to pronounce it. Okay, uh, entertainment complex would be nice, probably. I could build it there and it would help. I think the entertainment complex buildings are a six tile bonus. So if I put it here, it might be four tiles. So it would definitely help Pella. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so let's put it there. Now let's go ahead and build an entertainment complex in Alexandria. Meanwhile, down here, I need a builder. And we need to improve those woods. And then I need you to come up here and help with that unit. Okay, now we're going to swap these units' places. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Say goodnight. All right, and then I want to see if maybe, just maybe, I can put my other crossbowmen here and still get them to fire on anything in that zone. All right, this hypospist is ready. So I actually want to swap places here. We're going to move on Radom next turn. Wake up. Fortified till healed. Thank you. Four turns until the Colosseum's done. Beautiful. I think Alexander, Alexandria Troas just grew, and as a result, its production went up. Oh, Siege Tower got disbanded. Oh, that sucks. Because of our gold deficit. Uh, I guess I should expect that, shouldn't I? So we lost our Siege Tower that we just built. That's to be expected, I suppose. Um, then I should do things that get me gold, then. Um, I mean, I definitely am doing things that get me gold, but not enough. I could build another commercial hub. I could build the ma mausoleum at Holocarnassus, but that wouldn't really get me gold. Let's, let's work towards another commercial hub, shall we? Because we need all the commercial hubs we can get. And actually, I should probably build one there. It's one of my improved tiles, but... That's a really, really big bonus. I need to go for that if I can. Right, let's 
go ahead and get the catapult on that hill. I can't tell. Okay, and we want the Great General there. I'm going to keep manual control of the Great General for now. We're going to build a farm there and go to the next turn. Nice. Uh, you know what? I don't know why you think my army's weak, because I'm currently demolishing Poland. So, you think what you want to think, my friend. Yeah, Rado can't fire on me, but I can fire on them, which seems incredibly unfair. But I'm enjoying it. A lot. Okay, I can fire on them from here too. Now they might be able to fire on that unit. But that's okay, I've got a number of units in the area that are now doing damage to them. Is this all that's left of my attacking army? Where Don't I have more? I mean, I have this Hitairoi. I thought I had more units in the area. Oh, that's what it was. I lost to Hippospist. Uh, it was right there because of my gold imbalance. Is there... I mean, I could... switch my cities to... focus on gold a little bit. see if that helps. Let's let's trigger a gold focus. All right, it's not helping in Candy at all. It's not helping in Bradford. What if I did it in Pella? Nope, that doesn't help. What about Dion? What about here? No. Okay, that's getting better. What about Liverpool? Nothing. Amphipolis? Nothing. <laughs> God. This is the worst. Um, yeah, I'm just losing units because I have this uh, gold discrepancy. And it's going to keep getting deeper because I'm building more buildings that have maintenance on them. But the buildings are important to have. Okay. <laughs> Was that my builder's last charge? Yeah, it was. I probably should have improved those crabs, because I think crabs give gold. Alright, so hopefully I won't lose anything else right away. Yeah, I lost... Man, that sucks. Okay. Can't complain, though. I mean, that's... I'm, I'm bringing it on myself. So let's, let's see what happens here. I don't have as bad of a deficit, so hopefully it won't auto-disband any more units. I could take the peace deal with the Congo... Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. Because that way the gold problem is solved. And he stops bothering me every turn. Hey, we're in the Renaissance. It's 282 BC. We're in the Renaissance. I don't like to commit myself about heaven and hell. You see, I have friends in both places. Okay. Plus four combat strength when fighting civilizations that follow other religions. Now, I'm not sure what that means. Like, we we should technically get that bonus, right? Um, hang on. Let's, let's go for the Arc. We definitely want the Arcacy. I can tell you right now. But I, we don't have a religion, so does it count as another religion? I mean, let's try it. Let's put it in, and we can change it later if need be. But also, let's go for plus two gold from all trade routes. Yep, that's probably what we're going to do. Is there one that's better? 100% commercial hub district adjacency bonuses. That's probably even better. This doubles all my commercial district adjacency bonuses, and I have a lot of those, so... Gimme. Perfect. All right, so now our gold problem is solved. And let's move for... Let's go ahead and go for naval tradition just because I want the envoy. I just want the envoy. That's all. And let's keep plinking away at God on here. All right, so our economy is finally no longer in tatters. We're no longer at war with the Congo, which is weird, but we're going to conquer Poland, so... It's all good. All right, this counts as a minor victory. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it just to eliminate the walls. Notice that they're really not putting up a fight. Um, 
Next turn, I think Radom will fall. I think we've pretty much eliminated Poland already. I mean, they're they're very, very weak. The great thing about being able to cruise through and do this quickly is that... Oh, crap. What got built? While the Colosseum stands, well, we got Colosseum. Rome shall stand. When the Colosseum falls, Rome shall fall. When Rome falls, the world shall fall. Look at that glorious building. Love it. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go for an arena there. So we have that amenity. Let's... So what wonder got built? Oh, son of a... Okay, so Mvemba has the Forbidden City. We're going to have to conquer him to get that benefit. But that's fine. We can do that. Nice. All right, so Rodham is ours. Your knowledge of printing has advanced considerably. How very kind of you, seeing as how someone else already has the printing press. But we got some nice boosts from that. So, again, we're doing very well boosting our way through the tech tree by just taking cities as Alexander. I have plenty of faith. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and buy Ancient Walls. Have that taken care of. And then I'll repair the Granary next. Perfect. And now we're going to move on the capital. As soon as the capital falls... Um, I don't know which city we'll take next. We'll probably take this one on the coast. Your knowledge of gunpowder gunpowder has advanced considerably. Nice! Just boost after boost after boost. Alright. I could probably use another commercial hub to tell you the truth. Um, where should I put it, though? I'll put it up here. And then let's go for a market here. Gonna build up... Ooh, we can build a Watt in Candy. Let's go ahead and do that. That is the holy building of Taoism, which is the religion we're conquering. Now, if that religion spreads through my empire, no problem. <laughs> Because as long as we're fighting against a religion, uh, a religion that doesn't follow it, we get a defensive bonus. It's pretty nice. All right, tell you what, I want this. I want Hannibal to ride with that unit. So you guys link up, please. And let's have you move into this encampment. Let's have you move into this city. Let's have you move up here. Interesting. They're willing to give me Poznan, which is the other city on the other side of, other side of um, but they're not willing to give me the other cities. No, I don't want peace with you. I'm going to conquer you entirely. Yadviga, I hate to tell you that, but you're you're mine. Your cities will fall. And then Congo will fall. Cuz they don't stand a chance. Okay. Hannibal, uh yeah, I want you asleep because I just want you linked with that unit. So let's now move these units toward Krakow. Okay, I want you to heal up for a turn. We can build a few more military units now, but I'm just, I'm trying to be careful because we are still building some economic related buildings. We're 23 turns away from the, Navy the harbor. Has just kidding, the tradition 19 turns. And the future. And we look with pride and confidence in both directions. Okay. Yeah, nothing, nothing to add just yet. Medieval fairs? Yeah, let's do that. Plus one gold from each of my envoys at city-states. That's always a nice bonus to get. All right, let's keep moving towards non Madal. And then up here... Sweet, I can start firing on their encampment. And they don't have a unit in their encampment, so it's their loss. This is, this is the capital's encampment, so I need to knock this thing out before I take the city. Now, they might be able to fire on my crossbowmen there, but it doesn't look like they're going to. So, again, their loss. Oh, I can't fire on it. Damn. All right, well, at least we can fire on it with our catapult and do some damage that way. All right, 
right now our catapult's getting a bit of a strength boost from Radom. Oh, yeah, you could really... Yeah, let's go for university. It doesn't cost anything, amazingly. Rotswav needs ancient walls. Done. Also needs a monument. Done. <laughs> Love being able to purchase things with faith. And now... I actually, I think I'd rather have the... Uh, let's, let's do a trader. That's going to take a while to trade up, but that, that's, that's fine. Our economy is more or less okay at the moment. Alright, so this settler needs to go... Oh crap, there's an encampment right flipping there. You see it? Alright, let's try and... As our settler's on the way, let's try and get the crossbowman up in between the settler and the encampment. Man, I'm so tired of dealing with barbarians! It's, their encampments are spawning a little bit too frequently for my taste, I gotta tell you. It's a little bit ridiculous. Alright, good. I can fire now with one of my crossbowmen, the one that happens to be able to do more damage. There's a bombard in place. So they're going to... they're gonna fight me hard with that thing. Oh good, my catapult is... Let's see... no, not... don't do anything just yet. I want you guys just to heal up. This is a nice, strong attacking army, and I want to keep it that way. Okay, uh, so I've got trade routes set up in Dion. Let's go ahead and move you to Alexandrupoli and have a trade route for them set up with, say, Pella, just to have a road up that direction. What gunpowder did for war, the printing press has done for the mind. So this provides one more level of diplomatic visibility on all other civilizations, and all tourism yields from great works of writing are doubled. The Forbidden City has already been built by Mvemba, so that sucks. All right, let's go ahead and do combat strength when defending. We're going to need that against those guys. And then let's continue firing on their encampment until it's no longer a threat, which is going to be very soon. And then we can take Krakow, I think, I think pretty easily, to tell you the truth. I think it's going to fall. All right, let's go ahead and go for stirrups so we can have knights. Um, as much as I hate to bid farewell to our Hetairoi. All right, now you are going to trade with Pella. All right, the city of Aigai has received a trade route. Excellent. Things are going quite well. <laughs> that is an understatement. Let's go ahead and build a water mill in Radom. And then this trade route, tell you what, I want to move you too. Amphipolis does have a road going to it. Liverpool does not. Okay, so that settlement's going to be okay. Meanwhile, let's annihilate... Okay, it can no longer fire, so we're going to move in a little closer. And go to the next turn. This is going to happen pretty fast. No. No, your capital is going to fall and there's nothing you can do about it. Sorry. Let's eliminate these crossbowmen before they are able to plow any of us down. Oh good, I can hit them right now. Now granted, Kraku's going to hit these guys. Oh cool! I didn't actually win. That's actually perfect, because now they're down to next to no combat strength, and I'm still annihilating the encampment. That was perfect. I have to say, taking the back half of Poland has been considerably easier. Once once we wore them down, it's <laughs> it's gotten better. All right, let's trade with... Um, let's just set up a trade route with Alexandria. Let's do that. Okay, good. I think this settlement's going to be okay. I just need to get to these guys with my crossbowmen. Now, unfortunately... Oh, how cute. Okay. 
So Mbemba Anazinga doesn't like me very much. What a surprise. Your knowledge of siege tactics has advanced considerably. You've, accum you've accumulated enough faith to purchase a missionary. Very good. I really should build more holy sites, shouldn't I? I've been talking about that, but I haven't been focused on it. Why not? Well, let's go for an encampment district first, or uh, an entertainment district, because I want to make sure that these cities here are entertained. Different sections of my empire, basically. Uh, oh yeah, let's definitely build a basilicoi. I can, I can buy it, actually, so I don't even have to wait on it. And it looks like I can fire on their units with mine. And let's go ahead and train up. Hell, let's train up a catapult in Bradford. All right, the encampment has fallen. Let's see if we can pay those crossbowmen a visit. And then I need to head for Krakow next. Actually, can I hit them now? Yes, I can. Perfect. Goodbye. Let's improve that die, seeing as how we settled a city for it God knows how long ago. Alexandria and Aria. So many Alexandrias. I'm losing track. Granary first, please. Alright, that should help prevent encampments from spawning in that direction much more. Alright, they do have some crossbowmen coming down to see me from this area, so I need to be careful. Alright, Mbemba's trying to trade with me now, which is the definition of cute. Um, I'm going to say no. Mbemba, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say no. And then I'm going to bring these guys up here. Oh. Okay. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Hannibal is showing that he is outside of the zone here, but he's not. It's really unusual. Okay, now is the moment of truth. Um, I actually need to eliminate these units first before I attack Krakow. The time has come, though. Finally. We're losing money again, too, which sucks, because I've, I've built my army back up. So let's go for another commercial hub. <laughs> Yet another. Build it here. I, I don't want to give up that, that growth bonus there. I'll go ahead and move the catapult across the river here, but not any closer. I'll move you across, too, so I can attack the bombard in a few turns. Yeah, see, now they're probably going to attack me, I would guess. All right, so these guys, at least from getting peppered here, they're going to get some experience. That's the plus side. Refuse. I don't want to negotiate with you, Poland. All right, not surprising. They attacked. So now I need to... There are very honest people who do not think that they have had a bargain unless they have cheated a merchant. Okay. Plus one gold from each of your envoys at City States. Gimme. Come on. There we go. Okay, that's better. Alright, let's eliminate some of this threat. We do more damage to them than they do to us, so hopefully... I might have to back them off for, like, one turn. Right, let's go for humanism so we can get our great artists. Alexandrupoli. It is 192 BC. What is even happening? Did I download a mod and not realize it or something? <laughs> Actually, wait. Ha! That's part of the culprit. It's still severe, though. So I'm running Timex 2 all in one. Totally by mistake. Um, it, it doesn't do anything but uh, increase the amount of time it takes to um, research, create great people, or do civics. It doesn't change production time, so it just doubles 
everything else. But that, that shouldn't we shouldn't be this far behind on the timeline still. So I'm not quite sure what the explanation is. All right, let's get a trader going. Definitely get a market going. We still need a stronger economy than we have right now, despite everything. Now the question is, if I move you there, can you fire on Krakow? No, you can't. That would be awesome. Nice, but I can fire on you guys. Which is what I'm going to do. Gonna fire on the stronger of the two units for a bit, and then withdraw that one before they take too much damage. Alright, so this Bombard is hanging out over by Poznan. Poznan's over here. I know that's what city that is, because they've offered it to me a couple times. Oh no! No, I might actually lose! Damn! I did not expect that. I guess I should have. Two, like, almost full strength. Crap. Alright, well, have to train up more, um... Damn. That sucks. That really sucks. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, let me just go ahead and kill these guys. That guy won't be able to kill that crossbowman unit, and then I'll have dealt with that encampment. Um, we need to build more crossbowmen. Damn, that really was a blow. Okay. Good thing is Krakow can't hit me from here, so I'm going to hang, hang out there with those units. I can't hit Krakow, unfortunately, from the... Ah, from the encampment here, for the same reason they can't hit me. But I, I definitely need to replenish my army a little bit because I just got four units. This is my attacking force. It's been, uh, it's been marauding. It's it's a catapult, a crossbowman, you know, Tyroy and Hippospus. Um, but that was a level three archer, man. Bad decision on my part. Enjoying this too much, but. We're still making great progress, and Krakow is about to fall. So that's probably going to happen in the next episode, I would imagine. The only thing that would slow it down is if it took me a second to get a new unit up there. Uh, but we finally don't have any more gold problems, so that will be a little bit easier to do going forward. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.